Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial we will look at how a pop-up squeeze form for WordPress can be created to offer digital content to users in exchange for their name and email address. We will be using the free Simple Download Monitor plugin and the premium squeeze form add-on both by TTHQ to achieve the squeeze form pop-up window. If you need to download this software, I've added some links below for you. If you're not familiar with what a squeeze form is, in short, it basically allows you to collect information and in the case of this scenario, in exchange for a digital product. So let's go ahead now and create a downloadable item and attach this to a squeeze form pop-up shortcode. Once you arrive in your WordPress website, you'll need to go ahead and ensure that you have the simple download monitor and the simple download monitor squeeze form installed and activated. If you have these activated on your website, you'll see a downloads menu and a sub menu titled squeeze form. We'll firstly be creating our download and then we'll be attaching this to a squeeze form. So we'll click the add new button under downloads. It's here that we can create our downloadable item and this will be the digital content that we'll give to those who fill out the squeeze form accurately. So you can add a title for your downloadable item I'll just be creating a simple wallpaper image to give to those who submit a squeeze form. You can add a description of your item and you'll need to add the URL of the downloadable item and you may choose to add a thumbnail so the viewer can see what they will be getting. You can add some other details about your downloadable item and you can edit the statistics if you wish to. You can find out more information about how you can add in these things on our Simple Download Monitor and Manager website. So I'll go ahead now and I'll publish out this downloadable item. We'll need to go back to the Downloads page and make note of the ID of this item. So I can see I just created this wallpaper image and the ID is 441. So you either need to memorize the ID for a couple of minutes here or you may wish to paste that into a notepad. So now that I've taken note of my downloadable items ID 441, I'll go ahead and I'll add this to the squeeze form shortcode on either a post or a page. So if you give your page a title, and then you add the shortcode block. I've got my shortcode just in the notepad and I can copy that straight from there and paste it into that shortcode block. Now that I've pasted my shortcode in, I'll just need to edit the ID to make it 441, which was the ID of my downloadable item. So this is the fancy template four, which will display that pop-up for us on the front end of our website. So the shortcode is SDM, squeeze form and then you'll need to enter your id fancy equal four and then button underscore text and you can edit the button text here if you wish to so i'll go ahead and i'll publish out my page and if we head to the front end of my website we'll notice a new download now button so for those that come onto my website and click on this download now button they'll be presented with that pop-up window where they can enter their name and email and click that download now button if they wish to receive the digital content that I'm offering. So for now, I've set it up so that the downloadable content goes to their email, although you can choose whether you want it to go to their email, which ensures that they do provide a correct email address, or you can just allow them to download the content into their browser. So it's really up to you which one you choose. Let me go ahead and I'll enter in a name and an email, and that way we can check the email that gets sent with that digital content. Click that download now. And now if I go to my email, I should have an email waiting there with that digital content. Here's the email and I can see my download link is right there. If I click on that download link, I'm presented with the digital content. Now if I head back to my WordPress dashboard, I'll quickly show you from the squeeze form menu, how you can allow your customers to just get that downloadable content straight in the browser. So go to the settings tab and all you have to do is simply uncheck the deliver the download via email. So it's really up to you, but if you do allow them to just download that content in the browser, they may not give you a correct email address. 
So delivering the download via email really ensures that you're getting the correct email address of that customer if they wish to get that digital content. So it's up to you if you want to have that checked or not checked. But if you make a change, just ensure you click that save settings button. If you want to view all your squeeze form submissions, simply click on squeeze form and the squeeze form submissions tab will list all your squeeze form submissions. So I get a good idea of who is downloading my content and I can add that to an autoresponder if I wish to. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial on how you can have a squeeze form that pops up on a WordPress post or page where your customers can download your digital content. If you have any further questions or queries, please comment them below.